Osnark Eren Yorin. Given the subject, I thought it fitting to do the intro in Dwarven. Trouble is the only version I could find that actually had words even vaguely in the spirit of hello or greetings was apparently from a Minecraft roleplay server called Lord of the Craft. Ah well, it is what it is, I guess. Anyway, on with the show. And I admit, the title is a tiny bit clickbaity, for what I mean to quickly skim over is why it is that the ultra-wealthy are consumed with the accumulation of wealth purely for the sake of accumulation. After all, the average C-suite executive earns more in a year than any ten people can reasonably hope to spend in their lifetimes, and that's not even counting all the extra bonuses, stock options, or other contractual goodies these people also come away with, and yet still their only thought is, how can I get those numbers even higher next quarter? Why is this? What drives this obsessive compulsion? Why do they need all that money? What do they plan to do with it other than buy a second or third or fourth yacht? Well, I believe the answer actually lies within the question itself, if you know how to look. For therein we find the difference between how the average person conceives of money, as a consumable resource, much like food or fuel, to be sought after when, if, and insofar as it can gain them a tangible increase in living quality, and how the rich elites view it as a superficial totem of power and social status. If you're familiar with the Dr. Seuss book, The Sneetches, with their stars upon thars, and you understand the point that it was making, then you already know exactly what I'm talking about. But for those who don't, I'm basically asserting that, while normal people view money as a tool of practical utility, the billionaires see it as an instrument of elevation, and its pursuit to them is less like gathering resources and more like beating the high score in a video game. Right, there, that's done it. Again. This is my second time writing this script as I accidentally deleted the first draft, but that's meant I got a cut down on wasteful expenditure of time and characters, so a blessing in disguise, I suppose. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Stay safe, stay sane, and may you find good treasure in life. Nadra Thorok Yoranir Anam. It's still a pretty crude translator, but so far it's the best I've got.